Welcome to The Heartful Life. I'm Michelle Baker, and I'm here today with Kara, and she is going to be sharing a little bit about how art has made her life better, which is the theme of everything we do here. So, Kara, tell us, first of all, like what brought you to this studio of Embodied Art? What, what were you looking for? So, in September, I moved to Colorado from a little town in Idaho and knew absolutely nobody here mm -hmm. at all um, except for my boss and I I thought you know I need I really wanted to do art classes I don't just want to go do a sip and paint where mm -hmm. I just throw paint on the canvas and hope it looks good I want to <laughs> <laughs> like have an art class that I can go to and meet new people and so I just google searched art classes near me and it Embodied came up, and it actually, um, the reviews on Shannon is what mm -hmm. made me interested, and the Van Gogh class, because uh, I have an uncle that makes art, and he is heavily inspired by Van Gogh, and so oh. I was like, ooh, that looks fun, yeah, let's <laughs> do that, and, you know, channel some of my inner uncle. <laughs> my inner <laughs> uncle. <laughs> so that's where you started, was with the the Van Gogh workshop. Yes. Uh huh. So you came in, you knew that it was connected to your uncle, but mm -hmm. you also knew that you wanted more of a consistent class. Yes. Okay. Cause you were looking for people. Something like I, the only thing I had here was my husband and while he's great and I love him, he, <laughs> I needed some, some ladies and some something, mm -hmm. you know, something other than sitting at home watching TV. Yeah, you don't ever want to rely fully on the husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you ended up after the workshop. You took uh, intro. You took acrylics, acrylic yes. painting. Yes. Okay, tell me about that. Like, how did it begin to help your life be better after moving to Colorado and not knowing anybody? Mm, well, one, I had something to look forward to every week. Mm. So a place to come and learn and like let the creative juices flow instead of just feeling like. Like it's all stuck inside there. Mm. This is a place to like let it out on the canvas and learn the techniques, which uh, seemed to be something I couldn't grasp by myself. Like I could YouTube, you know, how to blend, and they're like, oh, you do this. But coming here and having Shannon sit with me and say, no, try this instead, or maybe add in a little more light over here, a little mm. more dark, and that has really helped my art grow and helped me feel happier. Yeah, don't you think that it is empowering to learn something, right? To be like, yeah. I didn't know this before and now I do. Like that mm -hmm. feels good. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, and I agree with you that having somebody else watch you while you're blending is a hundred times more valuable than watching somebody do it on YouTube because they already mm -hmm. know how, Yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you can sit there and watch them on YouTube blend blue and white together over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then you try to do it and you're just like, it's not working. Somehow no matter. it's not the same. <laughs> yes. So having, <laughs> having that instruction there to be able to say, like, you just need a little more pressure or you need mm -hmm. a little less paint or yep. it's so valuable. Makes all the difference. Yes. Okay. So then... You know, you're new to Colorado, you're coming to acrylics class every week, you're looking forward to it, you're learning things that were more of a challenge before. Now you're like, oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. And it was good. Then what happened? Then, so I, I kind of felt almost a little frustrated that like I can paint this beautiful flower or this beautiful portrait and they look good and I love them, but they're just what they are and so I wanted mm. to I wanted to be able to take what I was feeling inside and put that out on the canvas because I think that attracts people more to art is when uh -huh. when you can put feeling into that mm. people say wow and I had this experience last week with yeah our <laughs> healing heart because I I didn't reference anything except the little sketch I made mm -hmm. for the figure and I just thought, okay, it, need, it needs to be pink and purple and blue and just this energy. And I I painted it and I was like, 
damn, like that looks really good. And so I put it on uh, my Instagram and on my Facebook and I got so many responses. People were just like, wow, this is amazing. I love this. And I was like, oh my gosh. And couldn't help but think that like they love this one more than the stuff I use references for because like that is me Mm. there. I love that you're talking about this. It's like, I think you're right that people are drawn to art when it is like this true, authentic, even raw expression of something coming from inside of you. Mm -hmm. And you sort of tested your theory out. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You've proven it to be true because you've put all these other paintings up on Instagram. And then this one just had like this resounding response. Great. I love that. It was wonderful. Okay, so there was like this point then in your painting where you're like, okay, now I can paint what I want, portrait, flower, whatever, Mm -hmm. but I want this deeper, meaningful way of painting. Yes. And is that when I happened to teach in your class that? Yeah. How did that work out? That was, um, (laughs) it was just fate. It was fate. You you came and you taught for Shannon while I think she was in Mexico. Yeah, she was gone. I had to sub for acrylics. And... (laughs) I don't even know how we got on the topic. I think you had mentioned like art therapy and how that works. And I was like, what is that? Like, (laughs) tell me more. I didn't, I didn't even paint my sunset because I was like, I need to know more about this. Please Mm. tell me like, that sounds like what I want to do. Mm. And then I signed up for healing heart. Uh Uh-huh. I kind of stole you away from acrylics. You did. You came into Healing Heart, and in that class, it is what you said you wanted. It's it's not even learning. It's just the opportunity to take what's inside of you and put it onto canvas, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and so, it's, yeah, go ahead. Um, like the discussions we have in Healing Heart help bring that out. Mm. So I can, like... Like I could sit there and say, I want to, I have this feeling and I want to bring it out and I want to put it on the canvas. How do I do that? And so when you sit in that group of women and you discuss like abundance, like what does abundance look like to me? What does it look like to you? Mm-hmm. How does it feel? Like it really brings, it gets the wheels turning and then you, mm-hmm. you're able to project that. Yep. Yeah. And Can you talk a little bit from your experience about that, like, I want that what's inside to come out? Like, why do you want it to come out and and what's good about that? And (laughs) Mm, it, why do you want it to come out? It just feels stuck. Mm. I couldn't tell you what feeling feels stuck, but there's Mm -hmm stuff inside that needs to be known Mm -hmm. and it's not something that you could express through words it's something you need something you can see something you can look at and say that makes me feel empowered Uh or that makes me feel courageous or whatever it is that you're trying to get out. And I think that the art often surprises you with that too. Mm, Say more. How does the art surprise Um, you? I've had several times where I think like, okay, I'm going to paint this. And then it's like, no, that needs more green in it. Mm -hmm. And you add more green in it. And all of a sudden it, it's something totally different. And (laughs) you can go Google and see like, what does green mean? And it'll help bring out what's in you really Mm -hmm. okay so yeah let me see if i if i've got it you're you're saying that there's just things inside of you that need to be known and i guess my first question is what happens when they don't come out let's go that way for a second oh boy (laughs) (laughs) um i get frustrated really easily Uh and i get irritated really easily and I think mm. that being able to sit down and just let the brush take me mm. helps helps calm down stresses of the world or anxieties that you may feel. Mm-hmm. No, I think what you're saying is true that when you're not 
expressing what's inside, it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. It gets pent up. There's something really negative about that. Yes. And art just helps it come out, especially the kind of art that we do in Healing Heart. It's like, oh, it feels so good when it it gets released. It really, yeah. don't you think it actually changes it? Yes. How? What, what's your theory on that? Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't know. There's just, there's like a moment when it clicks. Mm -hmm. You're like, here I am painting away. Mm -hmm. And then there's a moment where you're like, oh, I see it. Uh -huh. Like, it makes sense now. Uh -huh. And I, I can't think of a specific example yeah. for that. But it, yeah, just all of a sudden there's that aha moment. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I would say is happening. See if this feels right to you. Um, when you're making art and, and really truly expressing yourself, really literally energy is moving from you. Oh, it's yeah. inside of you. It's coming out through the paintbrush and the movement. And then that aha moment that you're talking about is when the brain understands. The brain comes on board because the heart or the body is like, I know what needs to come out. But then the brain is like, I know what this is about. And then everybody's really happy. Yes. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, what's the word? Like being in sync. Uh -huh. All of you is in sync finally. Yeah. Because when you have that feeling stuck in you of like, I need to get this out, your brain is like, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, yeah. tell me what this is. And you're like, I don't know. I just need to get it out. And then you do and it clicks and you're like, finally, Ugh. it makes sense. Okay, and then I want to touch on, I love how you said it needs to be known. So let's just explore that for a moment. Who needs to know it? Me. Uh-huh. And I think maybe other people could too, but more like I'm not painting these paintings for other people. Mm -hmm. I'm painting them because I need it. Um, yeah, so start. let's start with you then. Like, What is it that needs to be known that your art helps you know? Who I am. Uh-huh. Maybe what I'm missing mm -hmm. in life. Mm. I mean, there's never-ending possibilities to that of what could be known. Yeah, but even just one, like who I am, is so profound. Because who you are is constantly changing. And you've been making art in Healing Heart for months now. Doesn't it always show you who you are, but it's like in different ways. Yeah. And you're changing, so it changes with you. Yes, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I, I've i told you before, but that's one of the things I love most about Healing Heart is that like you can go to therapy and have a therapist tell you this is what you need to do to be better. And then you come to Healing Heart and you do your own art therapy. Mm -hmm. And it just comes out on the canvas and shows you what needs to be done. So it's like art is the way to, it's like your own personal um, therapist. Yeah. It's like, here, this is what you need, but you trust it because it's yours. Yes. There's no way it's lying to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not projecting all over you, mm -hmm. <laughs> which happens sometimes. Yes. Excellent. I love that. Love that. Okay. So then I want to go back and let's just, the, the answer might be nothing, but I'm curious is there a part that other people have to play with being known? You said that my art, like what's inside of me needs to be known. Mm -hmm. And mostly it's you that needs to know what's coming out. But is there somebody, anybody else that plays a part? Like, does it help your husband or does the world need to know? Like, what are your thoughts on that? I think it Definitely helps my husband because I'm less cranky. Mm. Um, and I know he enjoys seeing me happy and expressing that. Mm. I'm trying to think who else it could help. Well, let's even think about like a particular painting. So the one you just did that yes. got the most response. Do you think that it needs to be known to those people. Like, it's here in tangible form. I made this. It's it's something from inside of me. Do they need to know it? I think so. I think that seeing that had a response in them. Mm -hmm. And 
like nobody there knows what the painting was about or what we discussed to mm -hmm. get there but they they know the feeling it gives them yeah that's like it's like it gets translated across like without language yeah they're reading it and they're feeling it and that don't you think that's a gift Yes. Especially, I know what the painting was about. The painting was about feminine power. It was about mm -hmm. the queen. And so then if other women are seeing this painting and resonating with it, aren't they resonating with your version of queen energy? And isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think <laughs> the one that struck me most was my mom was just in love with it. And, like, I'm she's my mom, love. so she's going to love all of my work. <laughs> but she was just like, I love this. Just so... Her response was just so much energy in it. And it, you know, it makes me think that maybe we have similar views on mm. what feminine energy is. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, can transcend, like, some of the ways that we can't communicate with somebody, you know? Like, maybe it's hard to talk to mom about this or that, but then when it comes to pain, it's really, like, heart-to-heart -heart pain yeah. in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Well, I have to tell you that I had a similar experience with art therapy where I had no idea that it existed. And I even have my, I got my undergrad degree in child psychology and I never learned about art therapy. So like all of a sudden one day I was looking up like um, play therapy, I think, and was thinking about going back to school and getting my master's and I discovered art therapy and I was like, what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds perfect for me. So um, I just resonated with that part of your story. So it really feels like for you, art is connected with emotion and feeling. Is yeah. that true? Yes. Uh-huh. Just coming back to the theme, answer this as directly as you can now. How does art make your life better? It helps me feel free. Mm -hmm. it, like the, all those emotions that are stuck inside don't feel as stuck mm -hmm. anymore. And I was thinking the other day about, I was trying to think like how does art make me feel and what does art mean to me and I was thinking about how runners go out and they get like an endorphin high when they run yeah it's like that's what that's what I get when I finish a <laughs> painting <laughs> I get that like woo. what is that what is that feeling hmm. joy mm. it's just like overwhelming joy. Hmm. I, my philosophy is that the reason art is so important to us is because it really has us in the creator seat. And so I think you're speaking to that. When you finish a painting, there's this tangible accomplishment of what you've created nobody can deny it nobody can take it away from you mm -hmm. do you think that's part of why you feel joyful probably mm -hmm. I think um, going back to the archetypes mm -hmm. with like the mother archetype being needing to have children uh-huh I, I do think my art is one of those things where it's like this is mine and I made this and mm -hmm. I'm going to grow it and I, I have, like, that guitar painting I showed yeah. <laughs> you from a dinky little painting from 2014 to now being able to actually put depth and emotion into my mm. paintings. Yeah. So it really gives you that place for your energy, your nurturing energy, your creator energy to be expressed. And, and in this, like, fun, infinite way, right? There's, like, yeah. infinite possibilities of yeah. what you can create. It's never ending. And... And who knows, you, you'll feel different on any given, di gi given day. Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm, like, I'm frustrated today, and you let that out, and it's your painting is red and blue, and the next mm -hmm. day you're like, wow, I'm so happy, and the painting is pink and green. And <laughs> it's just like there's never-ending possibilities to how it makes you feel, how it looks, mm -hmm. how you get there with that. Yeah. But I think art is infinitely interesting. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. 
because it's coming from inside of you like it's a piece of your soul and when you like you could break it down into like science and stuff and how deep that goes that's infinitely interesting like mm -hmm. each individual person is gonna have a different view and feel and experience and so mm -hmm. yeah yeah I mean every person could and would express differently and then on any given day like you were saying before what you create would be different based on that like I I don't even think it's possible if you're gonna paint a painting every day for the rest of your life like you would still never paint one that was the same even if you yeah. tried mm -hmm. <laughs> even though you're frustrated more than one time it's still gonna come out differently yes so that's just I don't know it's really inspiring and exciting yeah for me. that's how I feel too mm. especially when I think like that maybe I can get an emotional response out of somebody from something I made yeah that just like butterflies <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to do yes okay well now I want to ask you how does art make life better for other people do you have an opinion on this hmm. I think well I think everybody could benefit from it there are so many people that say like oh I can't make art or I'm mm. bad at art mm -hmm. and I think that's when they just maybe need a little more guidance and then they can see like like you created that and it's I think that's just so rewarding mm -hmm. I think anybody could find a reward from that even like any sort of creative outlet whether it's mm -hmm. building like woodwork or yeah. um like thinking of my husband he really loves video games and building things in his video oh. game and I'm like that's his creative outlet is yeah. doing that kind of stuff I so I don't think there's an end to that mm -hmm. I would go as far to say that everybody needs to create because yes. of what you were saying before that pent upness mm -hmm. it needs to come out yes but it could come out in again an infinite number of forms mm -hmm. actually but if people don't do that I, I think that they are unhappy I agree mm. and I I don't think people often realize that that is art like yeah. you could make a shirt that's so pretty and mm -hmm. just because it's not like pen and paper or yeah it's still art and that's still expressing yourself and getting that I just think of it like a ball, like a, a ball that needs to just mm. burst out of my chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you were with me, actually. Um, we were at a yoga studio, and I set up, and I, I had a painting that people could just add, like, a little bit to at this yoga studio, and almost nobody did. Mm -hmm. They would say, ooh, that's so pretty, and I'd say, come on over and make a mark. And they're like, oh, no, I can't, and they had a f different reasons. Mm -hmm. But I really, I am, I have feelings about that, I guess I'll say, <laughs> because it doesn't matter if you're amazing at it. Like, why is the qualification I have to be, like, a museum-quality artist to come and make a mark? Yeah, and that, that reminds me, so earlier this year, I think it was after I started coming here that I said, you know, if I want to get anywhere with my art, if I, I'm going to have to let people see it. And so mm -hmm. I started posting it on Instagram and Facebook and just saying, like, even if I think this looks like trash, somebody else is going to enjoy it and think Ooh. it's great. And what I think, a great perspective. Yeah. It, and it was kind of tough because uh -huh. that's like, that's a piece of my soul Seriously. that people get to look at. And that's, yeah. you just got to say, you know what? Here you go. Look at it. And then, and then you get reviews like I did this uh -huh. last weekend where people are just like, this is amazing. Mm. You're really brave though. A lot of people who are great artists here, painters, they would not put their artwork on social media. And mm -hmm. you're like, I've been doing it since I've started you know mm -hmm. right like you you just made this decision to share it with people well what would you be missing out on if you didn't share your work with publicly I think I would feel sad hmm. like it's it's really scary to put it out there because yeah. 
like I said, it's a piece of me that I'm sharing with everybody, but I think I would just feel unhappy and less motivated. Uh huh. So that really comes back to part of, of your art making is to be seen by other people. Like that's yes. actually part of the satisfying process. Mm hmm. And I don't think that it is just being due to being extroverted because I agree. Even I, I would definitely qualify on the introvert realm and yet it's very scary <laughs> and satisfying to be witnessed in my art. Mm -hmm. And I a hundred percent agree that it is, it's part of your soul that other people get to see. And so it feels really vulnerable and yet, it's also amazing that other people get to see my soul. And then when they say beautiful things about it, like what more could I want in life than yes. to have someone say like, Oh, your soul is beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. And have you gotten any comments that were hard to take? Not yet. See, that's the other thing is I think we're so afraid of people's criticism and yet we're the harshest critics. Oh yeah. Putting it out publicly is probably going to help you see what's good about your art versus like keeping it inside. It's you're stuck with like that inner critic voice. Uh -huh. It's probably the worst thing that you <laughs> can do. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Just sitting there with it saying like, Oh, I hate this because I messed up a blend on mm -hmm. the shoulder. It just, and then you just tuck it away and you're like, I hate this painting. Blah. But sharing it, people say, like, that is amazing. And, like, I can't believe you made that. And yeah. Just like, and suddenly, yeah. like, some shoulder mistake means yes. nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I really. Okay, so this is going to be one of my takeaways today from talking with you is that there's so many therapeutic, amazing qualities to art, especially expressive art like we do. And one of them is that like it's inside of me and it just needs to come out. But the other one that I've really not thought about before is this quality that we're talking about that having other people see it is it's what satisfying, profound, amazing. What? Oh gosh, what is the word? It's just a feeling. It's, it's satisfying. It's rewarding. Rewarding. It's rewarding. It's rewarding to have other people see me in my art. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the lesson from Cara today is do not put your painting under your bed. Do not tuck it away where only you get to see it. You should share it. Even if you think it's not good. Right? Somebody else is going to love it. Somebody else is going to love it. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> art doesn't have to be about making a pretty painting. And yes. what you're saying instead is allow what's inside of you to come out and be expressed because you will always feel better. Yes. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for being here and inspiring other people. Thank you for having me.